zeptocapsulotomy is a way where you, within four milliseconds, create a perfect opening of the anterior capsule. Uh, and you do it within the eye. It's not a laser. It's, uh, it's, uh, nitinol is actually a combination uh, uh, of uh, uh, nickel and titanium. And basically by putting a, a suction, a gentle suction, on the anterior surface of the lens, uh, then a current is released and you get usually something between 5.1 and 5.2 millimeter rounded capsulotomy. This is how Zepto works in very simple words. The four milliseconds is, is just a cut, but you also have to you have to introduce into the eye. So I would say one minute in a total: introduction, centration, suction on, uh, and then the cut, and then remove it out of the eye between one and one point five minutes. I, I I don't have any personal experience with femtosecond lasers, but from you know what I. When, when, when I listen to my colleagues who do have their devices, obviously this is just a, a fraction of time, absolutely. And, and there's no, no need to move the patient, one device, second device, because you're still under your operating microscope. At the moment, I use Zepto for two indications. First is actually very difficult cases. And this is something that's so different to the femtosecond laser. Femtosecond laser uh, can only work when the corneal is transparent. Otherwise, the laser beam does not pass the cornea. Uh, Zepto is, is exactly the other way around. Of course, it's very nice if you can see it well, but even in very hazy corneas, very opaque corneas, you can place it and still get a perfect rexus done. Um, so I, I use it for difficult cases. I particularly, not only in just myself, but also members of my staff, like to use it for white lenses, you know, lenses that are under pressure because the so-called Argentinian flag sign, you know, where it just explodes, does not exist, believe it or not. We don't stay in the capsule any longer. I don't use any heel on GV, just standard viscoelastic because the rexus is done in such a fast fashion that the opening is there faster than the explosion of the lens. So when it explodes, it does not tear the capsule because it's, it's, it's the opening is already there. And the second one is for premium lenses. I must admit, I don't use it for standard cataract surgery just because of cost. And, you know, I am an experienced surgeon, so I can get a reasonable, reasonably good rexus. But for premium lenses, trifocal and toric lenses, toric even more important than toric lenses, this is where one can and should use an assisting device to give the best possible surgery because it's, it's a fully private surgery. Patients pay a lot of money and they should have a perfect outcome. And here you get a consistently perfect outcome. The benefit of the patient is slowly, also because of the development of the femtosecond lasers, we sort of slowly move toward uh, a centering the lens, in particular if it's, it's a multifocal lens, not on the anatomical center, but on the visual axis. And it's particularly important for hyperops, who usually have a large angle kappa. Uh, and with this device, and I tried several times, because it is transparent, the, the cup is transparent, and if you do it on the topical, not under peribulbar anesthesia, but on the topical, the patient can see the light of the microscope, and they can see the light of the microscope through the Zapta device. So you know where their first Purkinje reflex, and this is, you know, we assume it's a visual axis. So you can, uh, you can center it on the visual axis, and then in the future, and there is already one lens on the market, and I'm sure some other lenses will also develop. You, we will implant lenses not just to be perfectly fitted into the bag, but also fitted at the, uh, at the uh, visual axis of the patient, which probably might bring some benefits to the patient, probably less halos, less negative effects we have uh, you know, with the multifocal technology.
actually, I found it to be it's very easy. Well, first, very low investment uh, with a great impact on your, on your practice. Um, it does not slow down your surgery in any way. Uh, and this is a big difference, let's say, to femtocatrack surgery that really prolongs the surgery. Uh, it's absolutely painless. It's also very important. Well, I think, you know, Zepta delivers standardized outcomes in every eye, regardless of the transparency of the cornea, at a reasonable cost. I think the beauty of this device, why I like it from the first day, it works very fast. It does not prolong your surgery. You do your surgery under topical anesthesia. The entire rexus takes one to one and a half minutes. You introduce the device into the eye. The anterior chamber is filled with viscoelastic. The suction is applied on the lens. Uh, then you release the cut. The cut itself, as I said, is just four milliseconds like this. And then you remove it. Uh, so basically, your cataract surgery is exactly the same time as it, if you would do it manually. And this is a big difference to all the other devices that are present on the market, particularly the big, bulky, expensive femtosecond lasers where you have to move the patient, whatever. So uh, yes, it is one of, of the arguments. You, you, uh, you do not prolong your surgery. It's a normal workflow. Mm -hmm.